In this lesson, we'll go through an example of a stoichiometry calculation. Let's take a look at our problem. If 8 grams of aluminum is available, what mass of aluminum 3 oxide is produced in the reaction below? Let's write down what information we gather from the problem. We know that the mass of aluminum is 8 grams, and we know that we're looking for the mass of aluminum 3 oxide. Following the mole method, the first step in solving this problem is to convert to moles. In this case, we have to convert our mass of aluminum to moles of aluminum using the molar mass. We can write that the moles of aluminum is equal to the mass of aluminum divided by its molar mass, which is 26.98 grams. This can be obtained from the periodic table. Doing this, our grams of aluminum cancel out and we're left with 0 0.2965 moles of aluminum. Now that we have the moles of aluminum, we can convert between the moles of aluminum and the moles of our desired substance, aluminum 3 oxide, using their molar ratio. We can write the moles of aluminum 3 oxide is equal to the moles of aluminum, which is 0 0.2965, multiplied by the mole ratio 2 over 4. This is the ratio of the stoichiometric coefficients from the chemical equation. From here, our moles of aluminum cancel out, and we're left with 0 0.14825 moles of aluminum 3 oxide. Our last step is to convert from the moles of aluminum 3 oxide to the mass of aluminum 3 oxide, using its molar mass. We can write the mass of aluminum 3 oxide is equal to the moles of aluminum 3 oxide, which in this case is 0 0.14825, multiplied by its molar mass, which is 101.96 grams per mole. This molar mass was obtained by adding 2 times the molar mass of aluminum, 26.98 grams per mole, and 3 times the molar mass of oxygen, 16 grams per mole. Doing this, our moles of aluminum 3 oxide cancel out, and we're left with 15.12 grams of aluminum 3 oxide produced. As a quick note, all the steps we just performed can be combined into a single calculation. To do this, you simply write all the ratios we multiplied in one line. Starting with our mass of aluminum, we can see the grams of aluminum cancel out, followed by the moles of aluminum, and finally the moles of aluminum 3 oxide. You must always make sure that your desired unit is in your numerator of your final ratio. Once again, multiplying these ratios gives us a mass of aluminum 3 oxide of 15.12 grams.